Hey folks, this is City Boy Gone Wild from cityboygonewild.com. And what I'm going to do is show you what the chicks look like. Uh, the broilers, they're at three weeks. At least five of the broilers are three weeks old. Three of the broilers are two weeks old. Those are the Cornish Cross meat birds. So there's going to be, should be eight total white chicks when I open the box here. And then all the other chicks with the various colored patterns, the Rhode Island Reds, the Production Reds, the Black Barred Rocks, and the two Buff Orbingtons that are very, very light colored. Those are all two week old chicks. So uh, I'm gonna open the box and let you see what they look like at this stage. Please do subscribe to my channel, support the channel, subscribe to it, share the videos as widely as you can and, and do like the videos. So let's open the box here. This covered lid helps to keep them calm somewhat because they're in the dark. It's early morning here, so this won't be a long video today, but will hopefully give you a chance to see what these chicks look like. And I'm gonna keep my voice low here because the birds are calm, which is good. Uh, they can jump out of this box easily. At least the little ones can, and I think maybe the big white ones can too. Look like they're trying to get geared up to jump out of the box. <laughs> so I gotta be careful. This box is just temporary while I'm cleaning their main brooder. So don't, don't be alarmed at this little small box. And so once we get done with this little short video, I'll cover the lid back on this and quickly try to clean their main box. And actually, even though their main box is much bigger than this, I'm actually gonna set up another box. And uh, we got one here trying to look like getting ready to escape. I'm gonna, this later this week, I hope to set up another brooder box. They're easy to do the way I do it and uh, separate out the meat birds because their main box is even getting a little, a little crowded. All right, so these, these birds are very, very curious. Uh, I don't want them to jump out. Oh, look, look, one's even sticking his head out of the little hole. <laughs> When they get big enough to put them in the main chicken yard outside, they I, I've got a big area they can run around and explore. These chickens, they, they like to explore and scratch. It's in their nature to just kind of graze around. So I let my... Uh, birds, once they get mature enough, they can stand the uh, temperatures outside. I put them in a very uh, spacious area. They can just free range, go in and out of their coops at will. And I've got a setup where they're protected from predators. Okay, so let's go ahead and end this video here, but please do, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get everybody you know to subscribe so we can build this channel if you like these videos. And that'll be it for today. When you see these uh, birds next, hopefully I'll have them broken out into at least two different brooding boxes. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to show that. But let me just close the lid on this little temporary box here and let me finish cleaning their main brooder box and then transport them, move them back into their larger box. Okay, have a good day. That's it for now.